I don't know about you, but I feel like we are closer to instant manifestation or instant alignment than we ever have been. So if you don't mind, from now on, I'm going to stop talking about death and dying. Instead, I'm going to focus on life and living. <laughs> I know sometimes it's important to use death as an entry point and the context through which we begin to really live life. But I'm actually realizing exactly how powerful it is sometimes when we just hold a certain feeling or a certain conversation in our minds. And I think that it's important that we now align our energies fully and completely toward health, toward longevity, toward the fulfillment of our purpose on this planet. Uh, I'm wearing this t-shirt today. I'm not sure if you can fully see it. I'm not sure if I'm doing it justice. And I'm proud to wear it. You know, I, I have so many people send me things and, you know, they ask me to wear things and I, and I never wear them. Um, but I'm wearing this t-shirt today because it's the culmination of what happens when somebody commits, is consistent, and repeats over and over and over again. So this t-shirt is by a member of our community, Gabriel Dorr. Uh, he's an installation artist. And he is one of the most successful and prominent installation artists in the world. And I'm proud to wear it. I'm proud to wear it because I've been able to witness in front of my eyes the unfolding of an individual. The unfolding of a talent, the unfolding of a gift. And Gabriel is one of many that I've had the pleasure of seeing just evolve into this complete expression of who they really are. And so please don't send me things <laughs> because I won't wear them, okay? This doesn't mean that I want everyone in the community to send me their t-shirts. I'm just letting you know I won't wear them. But today I wanted to wear this t-shirt as an avenue through which I can express beyond just the monologue what's possible for us now. You know, I feel like we're at a point now where everything is going to happen sooner and faster for us all. I feel like we're going through the adjustments that we have to go through. So when we look at where we are as a community in the context of where the world is, for the most part, you are all less reactive, okay? More accountable, more responsible, and as a result, more peaceful. You're actually now finding a greater platform for life and living that's based in authenticity. And I couldn't be prouder. I couldn't be happier. And so here's what happens when we begin to build our lives on a foundation or a platform of authenticity. We have to at some point recognize that the world is ready for us. And I know for the longest time it's been feeling like you've been speaking a foreign language and people just don't understand you and everything's getting lost in translation. Well, all of that's in the past now. The world is now ready for you. The world is ready for you. And that means that the world is ready to receive what you have to share. However, you have to be solid in who you are. You have to have a belief in who you are. You have to have a level of consciousness that supports that contribution. So I'm going to tell you the secret this morning. Everything that you do right now that serves to uplift another human being will be successful. 
So everything that you do that reminds people who they really are, why they're here, that inspires them, that challenges their worldview, that points them back to themselves, everything will be successful. And here's why. Because we're in the middle of an evolution. And that's exactly what's required 